Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shelly's New Beginnings. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I will be talking about my childhood memories, which I have so many, and it's hard to talk about sometimes because you kind of wonder where did your childhood go, or why did it go so fast? Or you have all these questions in your head, thinking, why did some of my old friends leave me? Or why did my past just change? Or why did some things have to change and some things, some things stay the same? But I would say, most of all, everything, a lot of things in my life change. I mean, changing, some change is good, some change I don't like. Because change is something we can't control, and change is sometimes really, really hard um, to do. And you try to get over that change, or that hump over something that could could have changed dramatically in your life. Like um, when I was in high school, my grandma died. I knew her for eighteen years of my life. And that dramatically kind of just changed. I cried at her funeral. I remember when she passed away, I saw her in her coffin, or not coffin, but casket, whatever, casket. And she was laying there with baby Jesus in her hands with her rosary that she would always say every night. And I remember when I was a kid and growing up with her, I would say prayers with her every single night and give her a hug and a kiss and tell her good night I love her I love you grandma and I told her that and she said it back to me but then when she passed away I couldn't really pray for her, say prayers with her anymore because she was gone and that was something different that I had to get used to it's hard when you know that <clears throat> someone was gone in your life and then going on through life thinking what happened and it's a sad thing if you look at it especially if you have grew up with somebody all your entire life and then something happens like my grandma her house was so nice and clean all the time she organized everything, the furniture, she had a lot of antique furniture. So my family and I, we lived on the third floor and she lived on the first and second floor. And we took good care of her until she got up in years where we couldn't take care of her anymore because she had, she got Alzheimer's and dementia, which was really sad because, and she passed away in 2005 when she was 93 years old and it was the hardest thing especially if you grew up with somebody all your life or an uncle, an aunt, an old friend or grandparents or a parent it's sad knowing that they were there and then now they're gone then your routine of things that that you did with them or whatever like I prayed with my grandma until she got sick and then eventually we couldn't take care of her anymore because she got really sick and we had to put her in a nursing home and that was the hardest thing but I think we did the best for her because she needed the care that she needed and to this day I still love her and I still miss her I miss all the times that I used to have with her, um, especially with my dad. I miss my dad very much. It's not the same. Like, when you first moved out of your parents' house, you kind of feel, like, great or excited and you have, all, like, all this freedom. But then, if you move away to another state, you don't really get to see your family that much. And my fiance and my two cats, we live in another state and 
my hometown is Illinois, so it's different. Um, sometimes it gets really sad because I miss my friends, I miss my parents, I miss my brother and sister, and it's just that I miss sometimes my old life because it's sometimes just not the same. I feel like I wish I could see my family anytime I want. I wish, I feel like I wish I could see my friends anytime I want, but I can't because I live in another state away from where I live or I used to live. So it's different. And I'm glad that I have my two cats. They're very good and comforting um, company. I love animals a lot. I think having a pet is great because they keep you company if you're alone. Um, sometimes I talk to my cats even though they can't talk back. I still talk to them. Um, I even was in the Girl Scouts when I was a kid too. In first grade, I was a Girl Scout. I was a brownie. I would sell Girl Scout cookies. That was a lot of fun. Um, here's a picture that I can show you guys. It's a very, this picture, and sorry about the glare on it, right here is me, it's very, if you can see it, sorry, you can't really see it that good, right there is me, I'm the one standing with the purple, white, and pink jacket, that's what I'm right here, standing up with all the Girl Scouts, girls in my group of Girl Scouts and it was a very fun thing. We did a lot of um, adventures, a lot of different outings. Um, let's see, we went a lot of places, we did a lot of different things. We also did things to get badges for our um, vests that we wore that we had Girl Scout on it. We had to get badges, we had to earn them, we had a Girl Scout book. Um, I mean, and then even the parks changed, even when we were kids, or when I was a kid. Parks changed a lot over the years. Um, candy changed, food changed, restaurants changed. Like, if you guys were growing up in the 90s, I miss the 90s. I love the 90s. I love the 2000s. Those were the years. Those was just the best years, and... They had a lot of great music. Now music, like, music now changed so much that it's not the greatest anymore like it used to be. And I miss my old life sometimes. I miss going to the park where I grew up and run around and play at the park like I used to, but I don't really do that anymore because I'm older now. But I wouldn't mind going to the park just to read, read a book or just to listen, to hang out and swing on a swing or something just to listen to music. Um, I miss walking around my hometown, looking at different things, different shops, coffee shops, restaurants, see what changed and what did not change. A lot of places changed, some places didn't. It just depends, I guess. But a lot of things change, and people change over the years, years too. Your interests kind of change, people change. Some people, like I lost a lot of my friends from grade school, middle school, high school. And I changed as a person too. I matured, I matured and grew up. And I'm not the same person like I was when I was a kid or middle schooler or high school or whatever. I matured as a young adult and next Tuesday is my birthday and I'll be, I'm 36 right now, I'll be 37 next Tuesday. Um, I just can't believe sometimes how life actually changed. Like, I feel like I was just a kid yesterday playing, riding my bike back and forth down the sidewalk, down on my street, um, playing with my sister in the park, um, 
going to the park and just riding or riding my bike around the neighborhood or playing in the backyard on the trampoline or kicking a soccer ball or racing my dad from the patio to the backyard. I don't think my dad could ever do the things that he used to. He's a little bit older now. He's in his 70s and it's just hard sometimes to believe how fast time went. Sometimes I wish my parents were younger so they so then that they so then they wouldn't have so much aches and pains. And then I miss my grandparents. I miss seeing them. I miss talking to them. I miss giving them hugs. It's just, I feel like things change so much. And I'm just hoping that eventually I can keep on making YouTube videos. I love making YouTube videos because it's fun. But then sometimes I feel like I can't do it because I'm stressed out. Next month we're going to California for the wedding and we're going to Disneyland for the honeymoon and the cats are going to a pet boarding place until we get back to get them. Um, we're going to take a train to California so that's going to be something fun. I'm hoping that's a little bit more relaxing than taking an airplane because an airplane I just don't really don't like taking an airplane. I think an airplane kind of sucks. Um, I just feel like airplane isn't for me. I don't like it when we go high, high in the sky, and then my ears get all. You have to like mess around with them just so like you can hear again. I hate it. Um, they sometimes hurt. Um, I don't know airplane, and then going to the like an airplane and then going to, um, I don't know, like going on an airplane and then going to the airport is kind of overwhelming for me, I think, because I just hate the fact going on, on an airplane and then the airport, you have to go through stupid security. I know you, you have to, it's something you have to do, I know, but I don't know, I feel like since I have severe anxiety, it makes me really nervous, stressed out. Um, it just annoys me. And I know I shouldn't feel stressed out or, or annoyed, but I do. And I mean, I've been on a train when I was a kid. And then when I was a kid, uh, I went with my mom, my older brother, my sister and I. We went on a train to go to the zoo and I had a lot of fun at the zoo. Um, I think when I was a kid I went to a petting zoo too so you can pet animals. I love animals a lot. I love cats. I love dogs. I love guinea pigs. I love hamsters. Clownfish I like because they're really cute and cool to look at. Um, like. I used to watch a lot of Disney movies when I was growing up. My sister and I had dollhouses, so I had a really huge dollhouse. And then my sister had a castle dollhouse, which was cool. Um, my sister and I used to play with Barbies, and we used to have Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen dolls to play with. They were like Barbies too. Um, we also had the Spice Girl dolls. I had Sporty Spice and my sister had Baby Spice. Um, like I said, if you grew up in the 90s, you kind of know what it was kind of like or was like. Um, I was born in like, like in the 90s really around that time. So it was my sister and my brother and stuff. So we kind of grew up in the 90s era. So we had a lot of fun times at that time. Um, just being a kid, enjoying life was back then, but then life went by so fast, as I said. Um, sometimes I wish things didn't have to go by so fast. I wish life could have went slower. 
but sadly it didn't and it stinks and I also have um, this planner it kind of helps me like through like it just helps me like this is like the months and stuff and then you like it just kind of helps you through what months and stuff to go through and I just kind of like having a planner because it tells you a lot of different things and also it like, keeps you organized like this is April I know this is a little too early but like I love having planners like this because you can write down all the things that is like maybe coming up and stuff a lot of events or birthdays or different things like then you have a calendar in it I would say if you guys like calendars and like to be organized I would say get a planner because you, you can write down anything in it you can write down trips vacations um, if you're in college you can write down college stuff school stuff um, like appointments that sort of thing and or a day that what you're doing or like things that you're doing each day or doing on weekends or stuff like that or where you have to go appointments like I said events um, classes or stuff like that or your work schedule you can always write your down your work schedule if you have a job and stuff like that and write it down or stuff that you don't want to forget or cat or dog appointments if you have a pet and the pet has to go for an appointment or something you can always write in a planner it just keeps you really organized so you don't forget anything um if you have times for different things that you don't want to forget i'd say get a planner because it's always nice to have one especially if you're writing stuff down in it and you want to like take notes and you don't want to like forget something it's always good I like taking notes sometimes because it just helps me but like I said it is very helpful um, it's always good to have like helpful things that you like or you can write grocery lists in your planner too um, you can always write it down so then you don't forget say if you don't have like a paper or pen with you by any chance at that time you can always write it in your planner um, like a blank page that you don't need to write in and you can just write it into like um, a planner that's called notes you can write up like the grocery list or something like that it's just really good to have I love planners. I used them. I used them a lot in, I think, middle school for homework, and then high school for homework when I did have homework. But I don't have homework anymore because I'm not in school anymore. Um, I'm just um, a homemaker. I'm a stay-at-home cat mom, so I just clean the apartment, take care of the cats, and that just keeps me going and stuff like that. I don't mind cleaning the apartment because I like the apartment clean and stuff like that and I just give the cats fresh water and food if it if it needs it like fresh water I gave fresh water for them today and then I I fill up their food dishes and stuff like that so it's an okay time so thanks guys for watching my videos and I will see you next time in my next video bye